Hey guys, thank you for checking in and welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be fun. I'm going to show you how to create a simple grunge looking poster on Photoshop. So if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, don't forget to click on subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon. So with that note, let's jump into the tutorial. Here we are in Photoshop and first thing first let's drag and drop this image over here and let's fill the background color with some gray color maybe something like this and let's make this image a little bigger so go to edit free transform a little bigger all right now let's drag and drop this image over here and let's make it a little smaller go to edit free transform maybe something like this I'll also get it on this side too maybe something like this one can make it a little bigger Select on this layer, go to brush and using the same brush color. I'll just start painting. I'll just put it under and let's make a copy, Ctrl J and for the copy layer I'll just change the color of overlay to maybe just change it to linear to light let's change it to maybe something like this now right click, rasterize the layer style. Now select on layer 1, Ctrl T and let's make it a little bigger. Alright. Now select on layer 2, Ctrl T and let's offset this position something like this and right click click on wrap maybe just change it a little bit all right now let's add some text so click over here The font to and change the font color to this. Now let's make it a little bigger. So go to edit, re transform. Put it under here too. All 
right now let's create a new layer go to brush i'll just go for the soft brush and let's change the color to black let's add some shadows the opacity a little bit down all right now i'll create a new layer and go to a brush again and this time i'm going to use my particle brush and let's change the brush color to something like this adjustments select on layer one go to filter go to camera filter and let's increase the clarity decrease the highlights decrease the shadows and go to hsl setting now go to hsl setting and let's drop down the red and orange. Let's increase the exposure a little bit. And let's drop down the vibrance. Alright. Now select the layer one and go to filter, go to filter gallery. And this time I'll just go for this half tone pattern and let's make this size a little a little smaller and let's drop down the contrast a little bit maybe something like this all right now let's add some shapes so click over here go to custom shapes and from here, I'll just go to legacy shapes and more. Default. Go to symbols. And from here, let's select this one. And let's change the field to something like this. Let's make it a little smaller. Control T, let's rotate it on this side. Alt and drag to make a copy. Control T, let's make it a little smaller. Control T, let's rotate it on the other side. player and let's add a stroke click over here click on stroke let's change the stroke color to something like this and let's change the stroke size around here all right and let's drop down the fill let's change the fill color to maybe something like this all right now let's duplicate this pixel player so control j Right click, create clipping max. Let's move it somewhere over here. Let's make it a little smaller. Now let's make a copy again. So control J. Let's put this under this layer one control T uh, 
right. Let's select these sticks there. I would like to make a copy, so Ctrl J. Change the color to white. Again, Ctrl T. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's put it somewhere over here. Now let's drag and drop this texture image over here. And let's change the color mode to multiply. Now let's add some text again. So click over here. Now let's add some lines, so click over here, click on line tool. Now press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E to merge the layers and go to filter, go to camera raw filter and let's increase our clarity a little more drop down the lightness a little more go to fx tab and just add some grains and add some vignetting too Increase a little bit of sharpening and increase the shadows a little bit. That's the final, and I hope you guys learned something new from this video. And see you guys in the next video.